Hey guys, welcome to another video here on my channel. Today we are going to go through another hairstyling video and this is going to be one of those typical reference videos because basically on a daily basis I get asked how I style my hair. And not too long ago I made a video on how I style my hair but that was frontward, forward <laughs> and to the side with swoopy bangs. Uh, like. Uh, this kind of look, but I do get a lot of questions how I style my hair backwards as well And that is what we're going to go through today. This styling routine is super simple I never do anything advanced with my hair I don't enjoy doing my hair and if it turns out good one day then yay That's awesome if it doesn't turn out that great then too bad, but I don't really spend a lot of time worrying about it so this is going to be a really quick and simple video just so I can show the people who ask, whenever they ask, how do you style your hair? I will link you to this video. So hello, if you're watching this, because you asked me how I style my hair. I hope you enjoy this little tutorial. The first thing you're going to want to do, or at least the first thing I do before I style my hair is that I wash my hair. <laughs> I don't use any shampoo or conditioner that is specific to the hairstyle or to help with the styling at all. I use a shampoo and conditioner bar from Lush right now. I like it. It's good for my scalp. It helps with like dryness and my scalp sensitivity. Uh, so yeah, but it's irrelevant to the hairstyle. So use whatever shampoo and conditioner you like to use. After I get out of the shower, I kind of like dry my hair with a towel and then I spray the Lush Sea Spray. Sea Spray. Yeah, it's a salt spray uh, from Lush called Sea Spray vegan, cruelty-free, and I spray it all over my hair and kind of rub it in, and this helps give a little bit of texture and it helps to hold the volume that I get through blow drying. So the next step in the process is to blow dry your hair. And sometimes I use my round brush to kind of like dry it in a backwards shape. So I use the brush to roll my hair backwards while I am blow drying it. But I also try when I decide to style my hair backwards like this, I want to get as much volume as possible into the hair. And that happens when you blow dry it pretty much. So I flip my hair upside down and blow dry it upside down. But I try to not blow the sides too much when I'm upside down because I want them to lay flat and I want the top to be poofy. So if even when I'm upside down, I try to blow dry the sides backwards and the top kind of volume, voluminous. And once I have blow dried it, it looks like this. So I actually don't have any other products in my hair right now than the sea spray. And I do use other products and I have them here with me. So I thought I would show you guys here instead of at home in our ugly bathroom. <laughs> the first thing we're going to do is use my beloved Osis Dust It Dust. I don't know if I am actually running out. It feels and sounds a bit empty, but hopefully there's some left for this video. Otherwise, this is a terrible, terrible video. <laughs> And what I do with this, as I told you in the last video I made, there are, there's like a cross uh, of holes where the product comes out and I always cover two of those sides so I only have half as much product coming out because I feel like that's easier to control. Um, actually, I'll try to use my, I have a mirror <laughs> here next to me. Uh, this is never easy to do. So I just like separate my hair and pour some product on there. I probably have this all over my shirt now. Yep. Tip, if you wear black clothing, then do this before <laughs> putting on your shirt. <laughs> and this basically creates a really, in my opinion, nice texture. God, can you guys see all this? I think it creates a great texture in my hair that allows me to like, I don't know, it keeps it in place in a way that you might not expect a like volume powder to do, but I think it gives it a good, a good texture. And uh, whenever you might see pictures of me 
with my hair like super messy for a picture and it's just like whoa i'm so crazy my hair is so fluffy whoa. this is the product that helps it stay like that while i take the picture but it doesn't stay like that forever so just because i have crazy like woohoo hair and pictures i don't walk around like that in real life <laughs> um as for the sides and the back i did trim my like my mullet not too long ago but it's still pretty long and unless i do something to it it does kind of stick out behind my neck and i'm not a huge fan of that and i don't really know how to uh, how to solve that problem of course i can just drag it back and hope for the best but um, i did also bring a little bit of wax this is the wax i used when i had super short hair um, and it's a decent wax, it's nothing special whatsoever. But I thought I would try to take just a little, little bit of this to kind of tame the sides and the back. Now I don't, I, this is the first time I'm trying it, so I don't know if it's going to work, but. I can, of course, put more effort into blow drying the sides and the back, like really smooth it down and really blow dry it close to my head. But I would probably only put in that kind of effort if I'm like going to a party or something. But for everyday life, no. It didn't really do much, but this is just the kind of hair I'm going to have to live with while it grows out. I, I mean, the sides are going to be a little bit poofy and the top is going to be a little bit like, don't really know what to do with it. But this is pretty much the only thing I do to style my hair uh, backwards. And uh, yeah, it's not more complicated than that. And what's important to note is that I have my kind of hair. I have really thick hair. I have a lot of hair. And that's why this routine works for me. So if you have a completely different hair texture, maybe this, this won't work for you and you're going to have to use a lot more product or style it in a different way to achieve the same result. And uh, if I sleep on my hair and the next day I want a similar look, I just use dry shampoo with a little extra volume and it looks good as new, I would say. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I hope it answered your question if you have ever asked yourself, how does she style her hair? Well, now you know. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, if you want more videos like this or videos on any of the other topics that I talk about on my channel. And give this video a like if you did enjoy it. Until the next video, have a super duper good one and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.